Hello and welcome to Dubai Trains and welcome to this Q&A session. And the question for today comes from DJ Langle 55. Staging versus interchange tracks with respect to operations. Should I try for both if I have the space? What size track plan should I reach before you try to package one or the other or both? So a lot of good questions here. And I think we first need to explain a little bit uh, what is staging and what are interchange tracks or an interchange for that matter. Let's start with the interchange. In my video number 49, it's a bit of an old one, I uh, explain what railroad yards uh, there are, what different types there are, and why we use them. And if I take a snippet out of that uh, video, then uh, this uh, diagram is explained in there. So we have here in blue a, a main line that goes from east to west, and on that main line are different types of yards right there. So we have a, a division port yard here in red. You have a junction yard here in an orange where the line would split off or there's a branch line. There could be a branch terminus uh, on there and there could be an industry support yard somewhere on the main line. And then there is a interchange. So if you have two different railroads, so here the blue one and here another railroad in black, then you will need to interchange there to interchange cars from one railroad to the other. So you do that on a interchange piece of track. So that can be anything for one piece of track that connects the two railroads to a full-blown yard that can just hold more cars and maybe some classification activity as well. So the interchange is basically a, a function that the railroad has to get all the cars from one point to the other. And now we need to talk a little bit about staging. So let me use this diagram of a uh, layout plan that I'm working on for myself. Uh, the, here you see Chicago in 1950s and I projected on the map um, some prototypical and some fictional railroads. Let's see and W here in orange. The CM at St. Paul and P in purple, it's represented in various areas, and a, a car float that's connected to the uh, Pensy railroad network. And then in black is the actual railroad, the actual piece of track that I want to model. Because you can't model everything. So you need to choose a section from the real world that you want to model on your layout. And in my case, that's here in black. So let's call that the stage. My stage is the CD and TRA, that's the name of my railroad. But to have interest, interesting operations, because that's what we're talking about, we're talking about operations, you need to connect your railroad to the outer world. So to the CM, St. Paul, Paul, and P, to the CN and W, and to the Penn C in my case. But because you cannot model that, that's all going to happen off stage. So off my layout. And, but you do need to represent it. You need to have trains that can physically go there. So we send them off stage into staging. So staging is basically a representation of the rest of the world off your layout. That's what staging is. You can stage anything. For example, a coal industry, if you don't want to model that, but you do want to represent it, then just have your train hide behind the bushes and that's staging and there's a coal mine somewhere there. You can stage entire towns, entire railroads, literally the entire world is technically going to be staged. So now just to give you an example, let's have a look at the line diagram of that same layout. So everything in black and this little section in green here is what I'm actually going to model. That's going to be my stage, my layout at home. And, but I need to connect it to the CNNW. And I do that with an interchange because as you see on the map, there actually is an interchange yard right here. And as you see, it's, it's actually quite big. And then there's the uh, CM State Paul and P interchange right there. And there's going to be the Pennsylvania Railroad interchange here in the form of a car float. Now, if we look at the track plan itself, it's a little bit uh, work in progress still. It's not fully polished yet, but it will work for this uh, demonstration. So here we have the yard. So if we follow the track right here, you'll see that this is one of the interchanges. And it's actually behind a whole group of buildings. So what I did is I staged this interchange. So I need the interchange to generate the traffic for the yard and for the layout. But I don't find it interesting to really model that piece of track that cars sit out uh, on in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just going to stage it. I'm just going to hide it here uh, behind all the buildings. Now it's the same with the CM, St. Paul and P interchange. That was the track here up in the north. And you see these cars basically come from this busy near north uh, Kingsbury-esque section. And then they also just dive into basically staging. This interchange is staged uh, right here. So I just pop the cars back there. You can still see the track here on this section of road, so I know when to stop the train and, and <laughs> when the track is full. But basically this is stage, you're not going to see it. And then we have the interchange to the Pennsylvania Railroad in the form of a car float. And that is also an interchange, but I did not hide that in staging. I modeled the car float 
right here because I want to see that. I find the car flow something interesting to look at and something I want to model will be fun to try to model that. So that is an interchange that's not staged and that's visible on the layout. But going back to the question, should I try for both if I have the space? So as I explained, these are two entirely different, let's say, concepts. An interchange is a function of a real world railroad that you can mimic. It has certain types of operations that come with it. And staging is the act of hiding or connecting to the rest of the world, but off your layout. And then what size trackpan should you reach before you try to package one or the other or both? Well, it, it's a bit, I think, irrelevant how much size you have in a way. I mean, it's, it's just what you want to model. So as you saw with my layout, I have three uh, interchanges, but I don't want to model the entire thing because uh, I don't have the space for it. So I just push it away into staging. But for some people, they might want to focus on an interchange. They might have nothing else than an interchange and just model that. So you have a train that comes out of staging, then shoves some cars onto the interchange track and then dives back into another staging. So I hope that answers your question. If you want to learn more, there's two videos on your screen right now. One explaining yards and interchanges and what happens there and why do you have them. And the other one explaining the exception of the CD and TRA layout as I showed you earlier. Thank you all for watching. That's it for today. Bye-bye.